What is up guys, Andrew with No Excuses TV here and today we're doing a quick video to talk about our top five upgrades that we uh, have, four of them we have made and one's on the process of being made to our Taxi Tiger Moth. So we've made a few upgrades uh, just naturally as we've progressed through having our Tiger Moth uh, and some of them have been like was immediate right when we bought it and some we've kind of progressed and got up as we've uh, lived in it longer. And so we're just talking about our top five We'll start at our kind of more basic ones um, that are more like, I don't know, some of these are completely just aesthetic and what we wanted and some are like functional that we thought we needed and have turned out we needed more than we thought we did. So for this first upgrade, I'm actually gonna shut the door and you'll see kind of what a dolly is. So I'm, I'm, in the, our, I'm in the inside right now and it does have, let me turn the lights off. It does have natural lights. It does have natural light. Okay, it has the night light built in right there. It gets darker back toward our air conditioning unit, but it's not bad. It didn't fit our personality, meaning we like a lot more light, a lot brighter light, and a lot more standing out light. And so what we did was we installed this light strip on the inside. And so this light strip goes all the way around our tiger moth, all the way back here. And it actually even goes out our big door. It lines it, it goes all the way down lines our big door and you can see it when we open that thing. Now one of the reasons why we got it is because there were some sections when we were reading or doing stuff we didn't have the light we needed, wanted at night uh, and also we liked the idea and the ability to just take a button and change lights and get more of that aesthetic just I don't know our personality kind of thing. We can make it go slow, go flash quickly, you know we can do a lot of different things like an out. All right I'm gonna stop. Ah there we go. And it just, it just fit us. It fit us who we were a lot easier, and it lit up a lot more. So that was our first like, a little aesthetic reason uh, upgrade that we made. The second upgrade that we made, we did it before we even got done purchasing or picking up the Tiger Moth, and that was the batteries. We've talked about this in a previous episode, uh, but we wanted the ability to go off-grid. And so one of the main things you have to have is batteries. Now, you can the biggest thing, you can charge them up at home through like the... I, I just, uh, regular outlet because the adapter that came to the tiger moth but we wanted the ability to go off and if say randomly i wanted to go out to montana for like a weekend and i knew that i was going to be away from a, a traditional campground and we're going to have electricity i wanted to have some stuff to be able to say uh stay electronic so i have this camera i have other cameras that we do for shooting this stuff i want to make sure we kept those and so batteries were our number two big thing that we upgraded our third upgrade, and it's probably the one that's it's been the largest so far and had the biggest impact, um, yet the last one we're going to talk about will, I think, eventually be our biggest upgrade, but is solar. So we upgraded with a 100-watt ZAMP solar panel. It's portable. comes in this case. Uh, it's pretty awesome. Here's some stuff of us using it outdoors. And ultimately, if we're wanting to go more than just one weekend out in this thing, we want to have constant power now it doesn't do ac it's just 12 volt stuff but it still powers all of our electronics all our phones ipads computers cameras charging uh, our drone stuff um and it'll even charge our final upgrade which we'll talk about here in a minute but by far biggest that would so far has been our biggest upgrade that we've had and we love we i mean i've loved it i've we used it in the badlands we always had power we always had fans it was so nice to not ever worry about um if we're going to have power to function while we're doing our like upgraded techie outdoor life. Now this next upgrade we haven't opened yet. Um, but one of the things when we were boondocking around talking to Brittany about camping off grid, um, she was always worried about bathrooms. How are we going to use the bathroom? Where are we going to go to the bathroom at? Well, we connected with a company called Clean Waste and they sent us this guy, a portable dry toilet system. So it comes with the toilet, privacy screen, like privacy tent basically, um, a little plastic toilet you set on, and it's got a bunch of disposable bags where you can basically have the privacy of a porta potty, which is all everybody was wanting, but some in the wild. Not having to worry about digging a cat hole, making sure that we can even use the bathroom closer to water sources because we have that way of packing it out. And it's also extremely leave no trace. And so there's seven leave no trace principles. One of them is obviously packing out what you pack in and that includes the waste that you produce. So we're super excited uh, to partner up with Clean Waste to work, talk about this thing. There's gonna be a whole video 
two, two, probably two or two or three videos. One of us unboxing it, uh, one and one of us using it. Why that's our number one way of using the bathroom or boondocking or going off the grid. So our last upgrade that is in the process of happening, and I ultimately I think it's going to be our biggest one, and I'll show you where it's going to go at least. It's going to set right here. It's going to set right here in this area in front of the tiger moth, and it's going to plug in right there. So I'm going to put a picture of it in this area right here, but it's a, it's a, it's a the, the one that's there is Dometic, but essentially it's an electric cooler. On our camping trip to the Badlands, we, I realized immediately if we're wanting to do a longer off grid, not hooked up to something or just even a camping trip, we've got to have a way to keep all of our stuff colder than just ice. The Yeti or the, or we don't have a Yeti. Actually we do, we have a small Yeti and an Orca. The Orca does great as long as, really as long as you don't have kids who are wanting stuff constantly in and out of it because an Orca is amazing for packing up and packing it tight with ice, keeping it shut and keeping it cold while you're traveling. But if you're there at the location and you're constantly opening, shutting, opening, shutting, it loses its coldness extremely fast. And so with the electric cooler, even though we're opening and shutting, it'll get down to that like temperature a lot cooler, a lot quicker, and keep our stuff that we're wanting to take on these camping trips colder a lot longer. So that is our quick five upgrades that we've made to our Tiger Moth or in the process of making. Um, it's You're gonna have to customize this thing and make it your own. Um, I could have, I could even put that as an honorable mention, right? That rooftop um, storage system has been awesome. Now, technically the upgrade was basically us just borrowing it from my brother, but that thing right there has made packing a breeze. There's a ton of storage inside, but we like taking stuff. I like taking fishing stuff. I like taking rock climbing things. I like taking all these extra activities that we're going to use. That's been up at the top. So if I, if I have an honorable mention, it's that storage system up at the top. But the biggest thing that I am, have kind of noticed you got to make this thing your own. You have to customize it the way you want it for the things that you're going to use to function out. We've had issues. If you want to see the issues that we've had with it, click this uh, link up here at the top. Maybe it's on the other side. I'm not sure. I can't remember. But overall, we've loved our Tiger Moth. Taxa, with our issues that we have had, have worked with us throughout the system. They've been awesome. They've done their part. They've held their word. They've worked with us. It's, you know, it happens. We've had issues. Part of it, they're getting it fixed. Um, yeah, but can't recommend. I love the I love this camper. I've actually slept in it the last two days because we've had people up and they, we've let them sleep inside. I've slept in the camper. So, regardless, if you love videos like this, we've done a bunch. Go check out our other. It's in our playlist. We have a whole text of playlist about all the our experiences with this tiger, the tiger moth so far. We have a couple more videos that we're gonna do specifically just on the tiger moth. One's gonna be the, the pros that we've loved about it so far. Um, and we've done cons, we've done walkthroughs, we've done complete tours. Go check them out down below. Actually, down below, there's a playlist that it's attached. Um, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. We're over 500. We're over 500 subs on our way to a thousand, which is awesome. Glad y'all are coming back to watch these videos. Um, hit that like button so you never miss one, and we'll see you in the next one.